Over the last year or so, you've undoubtedly heard me say the Fed broke the housing market. But I thought what I would do here in this video, just real quick, is give you kind of the, the insight into what that statement means, the Fed broke housing. In order to do that, we have to talk about what is the normal housing progression, because it is the normal housing progression that I think is now broken. So again, if you go back and look at housing statistics like I have over the years, uh, you basically, you know, you age into your first time home buyer home around 34 or 35. Again, historically speaking, you are in that home for about seven or eight years, and then you move up, right? You get the bigger home, nicer home, whatever that is. And, you know, you're in that move up home for about a decade, you know, and then you move again. So that's, that's the historical housing market. And that's how you can have six and a half million transactions because a lot of those move up buyers obviously are both a seller and a buyer. And when you look at what's going on today, I believe the Fed has broke housing and unfortunately they have broken housing for years to come. What do I mean by that? Well, as you know, we kept rates too low for too long. No argument there. But what we unintentionally did is we now have broken the economics for the move up buyer. If you go back and look at history, the move up buyer traditionally when they when they you know, they sold this first time home buyer home and moved up. It, it, it's kind of fuzzy math, but basically they were comfortable with a higher mortgage payment of up to about $500, right? You get a bigger home, nice part of town. You take the equity from your first home, you move it in the bigger one, your payment roughly up to $500 more. Now, when, unfortunately, what we now have is a housing market where that move up sale is significantly more expensive, but the interest rate, the interest rate could be two, 300 basis points higher. Now what we are looking at is potentially a move up seller who sells one, buys the other, even if they get a discount, right? Let's say they sell their home for market, then they get a discount on that move up home, but because the interest rate is two or 300 points higher, their payment is not $500 more, it's $1,500 to $2,500 more. And there are very few buyers or sellers, really they're both, that will sign up for a mortgage payment that much higher. The market is just broken. So what happens? Well, I think what we need to realize is we need to, yeah, we just need to realize that the years of six million transactions are over. Now they're not over forever because eventually this too will pass, but I cannot see us getting to six million sales anytime be before 2026. We just, there's the economics for the move up buyer is not there. And if you don't have the move up buyer, you're losing two transactions, the sell and the purchase. So again, I think, I think we truly have interest rate lock-in. I talk to more and more people every day that say, Michael, I'm not going anywhere. You guys see the comments, the people leave them on my channel all the time, right? I'm not, I'm not selling, I'm not moving, right? Yeah, if you have an interest rate under three, under three and a half, under four, why would you move? Your mortgage payment today is less than rent. You don't wanna double your mortgage payment for you know one extra bedroom. So the housing market is broken. <laughs> broken means no inventory, reduced transactions. Now, of course, you're still gonna have death, divorce, sickness, job transfers. That's why you're gonna have 4 million sales. You're not gonna go from 4 million to 2 million. We're gonna stay around 4 million, and I think December of 2022 is the bottom, 4.02 million. But yeah, the market's broken. It'll be broken for years to come. You know, leave comments below. What, what's your interest rate? Are you selling? Love to hear. All right, everybody. I don't know what the name of that ship is, but there you go. How do you like that sunrise, huh? Bye.